Hi, in this video I'm going to solve a free body diagram problem for an object hanging from ropes that are at angles from the horizontal and vertical, or strings in this case. So let's get right to it. A 0.75 kilogram happy birthday banner hangs from two identical strings which are fixed to the ceiling at angles of 25 degrees from the horizontal. Find the tension in each string. So let's start with a free body diagram. It says happy birthday on the middle. I'm not going to draw that because it's not really relevant to our problem. Uh, we have the force of gravity pulling down. It's equal to mg. And we have two strings that are at 25 degrees from the horizontal. So if this is our horizontal, we're at 25 degrees, so it's going to be something like this is our tension force. And then we have another one in the opposite direction. We have another tension force. Now since they're identical strings and they're at the same angle of 25 degrees, I'm using the same variable for both of them because they're going to end up being equal. Uh, we need to find the tension in each string. So let's uh, solve for all the forces we can and then let's Resolve our vectors into components and use Newton's second law to figure out what we can figure out. Okay, so first of all, force of gravity is equal to mg, so we can calculate the weight of the sign. 0 0.75 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Force of gravity then ends up being equal to calculated 0.75 times 9. 7.35, um, 7.36. I'm not going to round. I'm going to round at the very end. 7.36 newtons. I'll round at the very end at my final answer to correct sig figs. Okay. Uh, so that's actually the only force we can solve for, 7.36 newtons right off the bat. Um, uh, so the next thing we need to do is resolve all of our vectors into their components. Uh, I'm going to choose x to be horizontal, y to be vertical, just because that makes sense. This is the x component of my tension force. So that's ftx. And this vector represents the y component, fty. Remember, the, the components are the legs of the triangle. And we can do the same thing over here. Pardon my poor not straight lines. This is another FTX and this is another FTY. Um, okay, so what we need to do is figure out the tension force. Um, now, it'd be nice if we could resolve this tension force into components, but we don't know the magnitude of this tension force. So we can't actually get the components of the tension force yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if Newton's second law will guide us to where we need or where we want to be. Now, if you'll notice in the x direction, our Newton's second law would just be ftx minus ftx. And then since there's no acceleration, that's equal to 0. So that's not going to help us solve for anything because it just gives us 0 equals 0. Let's look at Newton's second law in the y direction. Some of the forces in the y direction equals mass times acceleration in the y direction. Uh, in the y direction, we have two forces up, FTY plus FTY, one force down minus force of gravity. And since our object is hanging stationary, it's in equilibrium, the acceleration is zero, so that's equal to zero. We can simplify this, we get two times FTY, uh, minus force of gravity equals zero. If we wanted, we could plug in numbers. Uh, so 2 FTY is equal to the force of gravity, or each of our individual Y components of tension is equal to the force of gravity over 2. Uh, now all that's saying is since there's no acceleration, the total of these two Y components is equal to the force of gravity, so each one is half of the force of gravity. So let's solve it. 7.36 newtons over 2. 7.36 over 2 equals 3.68 newtons. So that's FTY. So that's going to give us what we need in order to solve the rest of this problem. 
um, FTY equals 3.68 newtons. That's actually going to be both of these FTYs, 3.68 newtons, 3.68 newtons. So I'm going to reproduce this triangle and then use this to now solve for the tension. Since I know one of the legs and I know the angle, I can solve for the overall tension. So let's just sketch out a right triangle again. FTY equals 3.68 newtons. FT is unknown and FTX is unknown. And this angle is 25 degrees. Okay, well, since we want to solve for our overall tension force, um, well, that's the hypotenuse, and we know the leg opposite our angle, so the trig function that's opposite and hypotenuse is sine. Sine of theta, sine of 25 degrees, equals opposite, which is 3.68 newtons over the hypotenuse, Ft. If we solve for Ft, we get Ft equals 3.68 newtons over sine of 25 degrees. We plug that into a calculator to get our tension. 3.68 divided by sine of 25 degrees. Make sure I'm in degree mode. I get the tension is 8.71 or 8.7 newtons to the correct number of sig figs to sig figs. So there's that. We had to use Newton's second law before we actually solved for the values of our triangle, but we did still have to break our vector into components. Bye.